Paul Bourne signed up to Australian Super's socially aware option because it promised not to invest his money in fossil fuel companies. But when he learned the fund had been lending to coal, oil and gas companies, he says he was horrified. I was quite shocked. It looks like it's greenwashing, basically. Find out more about how super works with Australian Super. The fund's policies make clear it doesn't invest in shares of companies that directly own thermal coal, oil or gas reserves. But it does allow other types of investments in the sector, such as direct loans to companies. This fund is trying to appeal to people, to investors that want to do the right thing by the planet. That's why they have this fund. And when I looked at what was involved there, I thought, this is, not, this is not good. Life advances by developing the quality of the surroundings. Australian Super has been lending members money to fossil fuel companies, including Indonesian coal miner Adaro, Canadian oil and gas company Baytex, and US-based Magnolia Oil and Gas. Paul Bourne complained to the regulator when he spotted some of the investments in the fund's financial disclosures two years ago. ASIC told him it would investigate, but he heard nothing until last week when the ABC asked the regulator what happened to the case. ASIC got in touch with me to advise that they had found that legally Australian super had not broken any law. We should have got back to him earlier, we've apologised for that, but we really rely on people like Mr Bourne and others to refer these matters to us. ASIC says it raised concerns with Australian Super about the wording of its policies, but didn't find evidence to prove in court it was greenwashing. We think these statements on the Australian Super website go pretty close to crossing a line for investors. Thinking about retirement? Australian Super wouldn't comment on camera, but in a statement says its holdings and policies are clearly communicated to members. Paul Bourne's not planning to switch to another fund just yet. But he hopes his message to Australian Super will push it to change. Pat McGrath, ABC News.